Hi there everybody, this is Mr. Anderson. I'm going to explain a little bit about the Instrument Maintenance Project. First, uh, we're going to have you watch the professionals clean and uh, service an instrument. It's really important that you know how the professionals do it because um, they'll show you exactly what not to do and what to do to keep your instrument clean, to keep your instrument playing well, sounding good, and most importantly, um, maintaining its value. Someday you may want to sell your instrument or upgrade and it's good to have an instrument that holds its value because you kept it working. Um, so the first step is to watch the professionals. There's a whole series of videos that I'll show you uh, that you can watch. And uh, you can certainly go off on YouTube and find your own versions of what the professionals do to keep their instruments clean. Step two would be to watch some student examples. Um, all of Some of last year's projects are available on the YouTube channel on one of my playlists for you to check out so you can see what other students did. And there's an instruction sheet available in Schoology. So those are kind of the three resources that we'll have. Um, part two will be to make the video. Um, the, the video's due October 8th. You can work by yourself or work in pairs. You can find a friend to do this with. Basically, you're gonna be making a video of yourself um, using the camera on your phone, or the camera on your iPad, you can use YouTube, make a Vine, use iMovie, maybe iMovie trailers, or Haiku Deck, Prezi, a lot of presentation softwares that you can use, apps on your iPad or phone, to uh, basically just make a slideshow of pictures or a video that, that shows uh, steps four and five here. So what you need to show is essentially all the supply items that you need, for cleaning and caring for your instrument, which will be listed in the instructions. So show all the supplies that you need and then demonstrate that you know how to clean your instrument. Um, some people will choose to actually film the entire process. Some students will uh, demonstrate that they're in the middle of doing it or completing it or um, you know, in the process of cleaning their instrument. But um, So you'll demonstrate how to clean your particular instrument. Percussionists, you can show how to clean the school's marimbas bass drum, snare drum, drum set. Um, you can ask me if you'd want to come in during lunch or during a visor, before school, after school, or maybe even right during band class. And that'll just consist of grabbing a rag, spraying some, um, some cleaner on it, and, and wiping the instruments down. Uh, if you prefer to use your own percussion instrument at home, that's fine too. Uh, either way is, is just fine. Um, make it fun and interesting and include pets and family and have fun with it do some acting or make it into something exciting or don't. Really the requirement is just that you show you know how to clean your instrument and that you have the supplies to do that. Everybody's going to get the full 25 points. Um, my hope is that we can all get that completed correctly and give you your 25 points before October 8th. Um, so that's the deadline. I'm not going to give people partial credit. Uh, you have to have it all or, or you get nothing until you figure out how to have it all. If you have um, troubles doing that, um, there are scholarships available. We do have some extra supplies that other students and parents have donated. And on that same idea, if you are interested in donating some old supplies or you're donating some money that we can buy some supplies for kids who need that, that would be great. Uh, everybody needs to have at least access to the things that you need to clean your instrument. And then uh, finally, uh, just some instructions about how to buy stuff. If you need to go get some of these um, cleaners or, or um, cleaning supplies, you can go to any music store. The big chain stores around here are Eckroth Music, Schmidt Music, and Growth Music. Growth is in Bloomington. I think Eckroth has a couple of places, and Schmidt has a few locations too. You can certainly order them online from an online store. Um, and uh, or you can order them from us and we'll we'll deliver them right to your student or right to you during band uh, and I'll show you how to do that make all your purchases and clean your instrument by October 8th here's where you'll find the actual assignment you click you go to the band course and you click on assignments and you'll see right here instrument maintenance assignment I'm gonna go ahead and click on that and get that open and um, what it has is a step-by-step -step process where you're not able to see or you're not able to complete one thing until you've done the previous thing. So you have to do these in order. There's a bunch of videos on how to clean your instrument from professionals. 
So we can take a look at that. This is a whole playlist of all sorts of different instruments that uh, they'll show you how to clean it. Um, so for example, how to assemble, disassemble, or maintain a trumpet, uh, saxophone, flute. Um, you can watch as many of these as you'd like. There's several for each instrument. Then you can watch some student examples. There's another playlist. Um, we watched some of these in band, but you can see some former students who volunteered for me to put theirs on this playlist. And you can see everything from some dramatic uh, enactments. Let me check this one out. You can see these guys took this into a, a different level where they were making it into kind of a skit. So you can put it there, and your advisor is also. That. Well, wait, Delaney, what about this? Oh, this thing. The zebra. Not and then also. You can see that these kids went through and okay. acted now their way I'll... through the whole thing. Otherwise, you could use a slick piece of software we have on our iPads called. <laughs> So uh, this is a pretty simple app that the student used to uh, make a really quick video of the instrument. Being clear, dramatic. Pretty exciting. Um, so those are some student examples. Then if you click here, you'll see the band store. Here's where you can click to buy supplies. I'll show you what that looks like if you click right there. The band supplies order form looks like this. You enter your uh, personal information, then you can start to click on things that you want to buy. A golf towel with the EP logo on it, some bumper stickers, a bumper sticker, a band t-shirt, and then you can start clicking on things that you want, paintbrush, for cleaning, cleaning paper, swabs, bassoon reeds, everything you could ever want for woodwinds, and then brass, and then percussion. So if I want some drumsticks and a stick bag, once you submit that, it'll give you directions on how to turn in your check, and, and then uh, we'll put in the order after every couple of weeks. And um, that's one way throughout the year to keep uh, keep everything going, um, keep every, have everything that you need all year long. And then here is the, the three checklists. So if you play a brass instrument, for example, this would open up uh, just a basic checklist of all the things that a brass player might need. So all brass players need these things right here, luggage tags, book. And then also on top of that, these are some specifics. So trombone players need these three things in addition, trombone, snake, water mist bottle, slide cream. On the second page, it shows you, there's a link here, how to keep your instrument clean, or you can just read the directions. Um, this monthly category here, this is what we're looking for a video of. So brass players actually give their instrument a bath. Be careful not to use really hot water and be careful to put a towel down in your tub um, and go ahead and give that a shot. If you are a little bit scared to do that, you could watch some videos online of how to do it safely. Uh, there's plenty of uh, common knowledge out there on the internet of, of how to get this done. So that is the maintenance checklist. Um, like I said before, there's one here for woodwinds, one for brass, and one for percussion. So you can read that. And then right here is where you submit your video. So after you've done this, it seems like a lot, but uh, it's really you're just making a short video showing that you uh, that you know how to clean your instrument and that you have all the supplies. So hope that goes well for you. That's due uh, October 8th. Everybody's going to get 25 points for it, and uh, hope it goes well for you. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks.